the mission here in Ghana? What's the mission? Oh, uh, I just have one is um, to see an, my friend um, Sarpong Boateng, who is the owner of the Mirage Football Academy. So I'm coming here and visit a bit his academy, and yeah, it's nice visiting his friends. Okay. What do you make of African football? What do you make of African football? Oh, at the moment there's the African Cup, so I think we all watch the match, and I mean Ghana had a good start, and I think that's the most important. You were once uh, quoted by the Daily Mirror saying that African players lack the discipline. Yes. Um, do you think that that hasn't changed, or it has still not? But it's. It's always the same, you know, when you say something, you have the feeling that people think it's a generality that you say that for everyone, but I'm t I was talking more for the players, for the young players who are coming directly from Africa to Europe. Obviously, they have the lack, a bit of tactic discipline, but I mean, when you see players like, I don't know, uh, Didier Drogba or Samuel Eto or, or Andre Ayou, I don't think they have a lack of anything. Okay, back to why you are here. What is Zali going to be doing? Five days what does be doing? As I said, I'm visiting my friends, his academy, and trying to know a bit more about Ghana because it's my first time here. So. First time here in Ghana. Okay, quickly, tell us what has been the influence of French football to Africans? What has been the influence? Uh, we had such a big influence. I mean, um, one, of, one of our biggest player ever in France uh, originally came from Ghana with Marcel Sayi. Uh, we had north of Africa with Zinedine Zidane, uh, so obviously our football had a huge influence from Africa, that's normal. Well, you are a big coach. Uh, would you consider uh, coaching the Black Stars should you be given the opportunity? Oh, I don't know. They, they are in the middle of a competition and I think the most important is um, to let them play, to give them confidence, because I think they, deserve, they would have deserved to win two years ago and I hope, I cross the fingers, they're going to win this year. Sorry? Only a few African players are now excelling you. You played with yourself before. What do you think that has accounted for that? <laughs> uh, Sami. Sami was uh, such a huge friend and we played so long together in Munich. And I mean, definitely I'm here, so I'm going to call him and meet him too. Um, I'm very much looking forward to it. Well, do you see an African country ever winning the World Cup someday? It's difficult. I mean, you can see to win a World Cup, you need, of course, talent, but you also need a bit of luck. So I think it's quite open. And, and I'm sure one day one African country will win the World Cup and first will deserve to win the World Cup. And I'm sure it's going to happen quite soon because the, the football in Africa get, I mean, is getting developed now um, since 20, 30, 40 years. And when you see some, I mean, Ghana was in the quarter-final already, Cameroon had two or three good uh, World Cups too, so I'm sure one day one African team will win. What do you make of African football? Has it, over the years, has it, has it improved in African football? I'm sure you've studied that. African football has improved over the years. I mean, I mean, more players you will have playing in Europe, um, the general level of African um, teams will be higher too, um, because they go often to Europe to get experience, uh, to get good skills, to get anything, and when they come back here, if they have the motivation to help, if they have the, the, the strength to help their country, um, of course the level is going to increase. Uh, let's go back to the African Cup of Nations. Um, have you been impressed by what you've seen so far? By Senegal. Um, But I know a bit their trainer, guy, but um, I, I think he makes a good job. Um, I mean, we're in Ghana, so let's talk about Ghana. If they, no, they play. I think they played a very, very good first 30 minutes. Um, but I think at some point, maybe, I think it was very hot, and the way they played 30 minutes, they can't play 90 minutes long. It's obvious with that heat, but. Always in the competition, the most important match is always the first one. It's always the most difficult one, and they got the three points, so uh, all the signals are green for Ghana. And what's your opinion about Ghanaian footballers? Well, I think you have uh, fantastic generations uh, with the IU brothers, um, with Daniel Amarte, with Christian Atsu, you've got fantastic players. 
um, but they all play in Europe. They all get experience in Europe, and they have they have not the right, but they have to bring that experience back here to help the national team to get better and then to win finally this um, African Cup. And talking about the academy football system, is it the right way to go for the growth of the game in Ghana? Obviously, I mean you need structures uh, for the players. They need good uh, trainers. They need also a school education. And that's why, I mean, that's not just in Ghana, but everywhere in the world. Academies are always the beginning of something. So we have to support that and we have to, we have to help that. Thank you. Give our coach the right way to coach the boys so that um, they'll get the right um, coaching. Which academy? The right football academy. Yeah. How long is it going to stay? Um, it's going to stay for like five days. My name is Sapon Boateng Otri. My name is Sapon Boateng Otri. And what are you today? So again? What are you today? I'm the founder and CEO of the Mirat Football Academy. Yeah, all right.